right. Big game here. Bills at the Bengals uh, as we head into the playoffs. Maybe a precursor of a game we might end up seeing in the playoffs if things fall out right. Uh, the Bills sitting at the top of the AFC East at 12 and 3. The Bengals currently at the top of the AFC North at 11 and 4. What do you think? What do you think about this one? This game, this is all important for for the AFC and what's going to happen because the way it stacks up, you know, the Bengals have already beat the Chiefs, right? So this is going to be important if the Bengals want a chance for that. Why they're going to have to win this game, but the Bills. Like you said, I mean, this could be a, a playoff game in itself. Like the Bills are the one seed right now. So, you know, th- these two teams that I really like, two quarterbacks that I really like, and, you know, it's it's hard to, to pick one way or the other in this one. But I think when it comes down to it for me, like if you look at the Bills, their defense, their run defense just worries me, right? And I know when you talk about the Bengals, you know, they have Burrow and the receivers and you don't really worry about the run game. But I think this is a game where we could see Joe Mixon come in and have a really big game. Um, but you look at it from the other side, the Bills just had their best rushing game in like three seasons. So if they're getting that going, going in, to December and going into January when the playoffs are starting, like the Bills are going to be able to beat anybody with the way that defense mm-hmm. plays. So, you know, this game, you go back and forth over this game all week long. That's probably what I'm going to be doing is just switch my pick all week long because you could pick different reasons for either of these teams to win. But I think at the end of the day, and I'd like to hear what you think about this, I think I just trust Sean McDermott more. I mean, is that the vibe that you get from this? I, I would say, yeah, but I, I... In all fairness, the whole Bengals thing is still new to me. We've had this con- we had this conversation about the Bills for two years before I finally was like, okay, I can see what the Bills are doing. I, and not only could I see it, but I believed that it was – and a perfect example is the Jets. Early in the season, everybody's on what the Jets are doing. Now, you heard me say I like what Robert Salah is doing, but I, did, I hadn't completely bought into the whole Jets thing because now the other shoe's dropping, Right because they peaked early. So it took me it took me a couple of years to warm up to the Bills. I'm still warming up to the Bengals. Okay? But but I'm half I'm halfway there, but I'm farther along with the Bills. So I would have more faith in McDermott and the Bills in this game. But at any moment this tide can turn. At any moment. The Bengals are certainly capable of winning this game, especially in Cincinnati. But the cool thing is is the playoffs start for these two teams right now. This is this is a playoff game. There, 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 there ain't no sitting anybody. There, nothing. This is balls to the wall. Everybody has to win here. Uh, if for no other reason, the Chiefs kind of got a cakewalk the last two games. Uh, they got the Broncos, who are coachless, and the Raiders, who probably will be coachless in three weeks. So, ain't nobody here can can afford to, to lose, especially because the Bengals uh, in the final week have the Ravens, and uh, the Bills in the final week have the Patriots. So they know the Chiefs got an easy. Uh, e- easier way to step through. So I expect this to be a smash mouth, knockout, drag out fight. And, and it, it'll probably be close. This is one of those games at the end. I hope we all wish nobody lost because everybody played their ass off. That's what I'm expecting to see this weekend. Yeah. And that that's exactly what I would expect. That's a great way to describe it. And like, you know, just like the, the Bills Chiefs game in the playoffs last year, it was like, man, I, it'd just be nice to see both these teams advance. So, uh, yeah, that that was a good way to describe it and not have to agree. Yeah. In the end, I'm taking the Bills, but that is not with confidence. The only thing I can guarantee this week is it, it'll be a good game. Yeah. What well, a great game. And, you know, as <laughs> as much as I love the Bills, Bengals look unstoppable right now, offensively, defensively. I that. And I, I think I think Joe Mixon has a big impact in this game with that leaky Bills run defense. I think they're able to pull off the upset. And I would love to know what you think about this game, what you think is going to happen, who you think is going to win. You let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you for the next video. 